before you jump into seller financing, uh, we got a question here. Cody, how are you finding your buyers? That's such a good question. How are you finding your buyers after you, you know, you fix up, you buy a house, you fix it up and you want to sell it on the wrap? How do you find your buyers? Yeah, I was going to go into that on the seller finance portion, but um, this is part of my work for what I do. It's it's not pretty. It's literally, I order bandit signs and I go spread them throughout the county. <laughs> it works. So hopefully now, what are your somebody bandit, doesn't come back do and try to slap me with a ticket. <laughs> what do they say? Because yeah, City of Cleburne sent, sent me two thousand dollar ticket in the mail one day, I'll, I will say that. Um, uh, the signs say owner finance, no banks, must sell. I give bed bath, sometimes square footage, and the good thing about the house. So, like if it's a massive house, I'll put the square footage on there. If it's a fixer upper, I'll put needs work, you know, things like that. Just just the detail. And then when they call, goes to a message, tells them about the house and where to go see the house. And then like you just filter buyers through. And then when they get to the front of the house, that rings to me. And I'm like, hey, we go through a series of questions. There's, we call them triage questions. And it just filters people through. Because, you know, you'll get the Social Security people. It's like, can I put $500 down, get in this house? I'm like, no, yeah. it's not a HUD house. You can't get in here. And then... It's, it's been really helpful with uh, my boy Gio. He's in the chat. They're like, Yo hablo espanol? I'm like, uh, Uno momento, por favor, mi amigo Giovanni habla espanol. <laughs> and I just get him on the line. He knocks it out because he's bilingual. Um, but I will say, pay attention to your demographics, okay? Because Hispanics tend to have the most cash. Yeah. All right. So just you just have to, that's, I don't care what the PC culture says, you have to acknowledge who your buyers are. Are going to be is this is data all right Guys, it, it's not it's not sexy like cody was saying you go out with your bandit sides i mean i'm not gonna advise to do that because you not only legally <laughs> but guys your buyers so here i'm gonna tell you guys a quick story uh you're gonna love this so uh captain vacation uh my partner tony your friend tony uh, we love and hate Tony. <laughs> we, we all love Tony. Uh, he has a ton of properties, a ton of sub two properties. He was talking to me at Starbucks one day. He's like, I'm going to sell this property on a wrap. We meet up at Starbucks again. I can't find a buyer for my wrap. I don't get it. It's perfectly located. It's perfectly priced. I can't find a buyer. I was like, it should be easy. Dueño a dueño, bro. He's like, yeah. dueño, dueño? He said, I was like, dueño a dueño, bro. He's like, what the hell does that mean? I said, tell your realtor on Craigslist. To write dueño a dueño on the title and then make the ad in Spanish. You'll sell your property in 24 hours. Well, he didn't actually sell his property in 24 hours. In 48 hours, he sold his property for list price. He couldn't sell it. It was on the market for weeks or over a month. He literally put dueño a dueño in the title and he had a buyer. Guys, that's literally how you sell wraps and that's how you find your buyers. Your clientele is usually Hispanic. They usually, culturally, they don't like using banks, right? Culturally, they're in cash businesses and they have a lot of cash. They want to do down payments. They want to work directly with sellers. They don't want a third party. And that's where you find your buyers. You're either putting out bandit sides or you're putting advertisements and you need to know your end buyers. You got to know your clientele. So finding a buyer for a wrap deal should not be hard.